Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully. Now, Mary Anderson is an internationally recognized personal branding and online business specialist. Welcome to the show, Mary Anderson. Thank you so much, Amabella. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. It's great to have you on the show, Mary. I'm looking forward to your exposes on today's show. Mary, now I understand that you have a personal branding technology that has the ability to define the person's brand essence with precision. Tell me what has been the success rate? So this is a, um, a software that we've developed over time. Um, uh, you know, personal branding for me started 22 years ago. So it's not something that's just been developed over reading three books. You know, this is, you know, this is really intense um, uh, learnings and wisdom uh, that I've been able to convert into an actual software program. What it does is when people work with me, I am interested in understanding who is it that I'm working with in their natural state of being? So I don't want people to say, oh, I want to be like Oprah because you're never going to be like Oprah. You know, Oprah is Oprah, you are you. So I'm looking at um, very specific attributes that the software is able to extract just through the process and the application that they have to, the client has to complete. And what that gives me is what I would call data. It's just information that can be easily organized so that we can actually design the branding architecture so it makes sense to that person only. It's exclusive and bespoke for that person only. And in that, we capture all the attributes, you know, their values, their brand story, uh, their branding guidelines, are all of the elements that are required for us to create a profile for that person so that when they show up in the outside world, that the branding is consistent across all of the communication touch points. Right. Now, uh, Mary, you emphasize branding, right? Um, so creating a personal brand can be a daunting and mythical task. I'm sure you are going to agree with me on that. So what are the golden rules um, for creating an engaging, unique, inviting personal brand? Well, here's the thing, you know, we have, we can't, creating a personal brand is probably not the right approach. It's all, it's more about defining your personal brand. I think that's a better way to uh, talk about um, a personal branding because a lot of people say, oh, I want to build my brand, you know, but the thing is that you can't build your brand. The only people that can build your brand are your brand advocates, paid clients or prospects. They're the only, that's the only way your brand can be built. So I like to say, you know, how do you define your branding essence and that means that when you're defining your branding essence it's like you've got to open yourself up and have a look inside and ask yourself how do I want the outside world to perceive me you know from every angle colors fonts visuals uh, language tone voice all of these elements realistically make up your brand but and this is a big but that's all the beautiful touchy-feely things which are very important but it must always be congruent with what it is that you bring into the world in terms of your product or your service so if it doesn't match then what happens is that you're not believable and trustable and that's where the disconnect is for a lot of people so I think that a lot of people get this idea that personal branding is showing up on Instagram and being Instagram famous that's not really the space that I play in the space that I play in is genuinely genuinely working with human beings who have accumulated a lot of knowledge wisdom and skill set and the question is how do I organize all of that information create a solution show up in the world so I can be become the go-to person for that one area of specialization. Right. Uh, now, um, let us debate a, a bit and talk about uh, leads generation. That's yes. really an interesting topic of discussion, especially in this uh, time that we have. Now, if the leads that are entering a business sales pipeline are in some high quality, I understand that no push will be great enough to tip them over the line to become loyal customer. So uh, my question to you is, how can a business entity consider client profiling to scale to? And now, why is uh, client profiling this important? 
I think that you've got to look at your lead generation strategy in a few different from a few different angles. Okay, so the first one, when we're looking at a client profiling, we're looking at a, a very clear profile of a, a, a the perfect client, and we need to understand. What does that client look like, number one? But also, we need to be able to have a qualification process. So how do I qualify that that person is the right lead for me? Because we can get leads, but qualified leads are a whole different ball game. So if I get 100 leads, out of the 100, probably three to five will be qualified. Everyone else is just wasting time. So when I'm looking at qualified leads, I have a very, 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 and all, and by the way, qualified leads for me is actually having a conversation. That's what a qualified lead means for me. A, a lead that's downloading a lead magnet or watching a free masterclass, that's not a lead for me. For me, an actual qualified lead is someone I'm having a conversation with. Even in that process, when someone somebody books a strategy call with me, the qualification process is so strict. You know, there are so many strict parameters that I make someone go through. So before I actually get on a call with, with me. And, and the reason I do that is because I don't want you to get on a call with me if you don't qualify, because we're just going to waste each other's time. So I would rather I, I, it's like I repulse people away from me rather than pull them towards me because who's got time to spend with people? How many times have you heard this? Because they want to pick your brain. No one picks my brain. If I'm on a podcast interview, I'm going to have a beautiful conversation. I'm going to open up. I'm going to give your audience everything that I could possibly give you. But if you're going to be on a call with me for 45 minutes, there's no room for picking brains because we have to respect each other's time. If you've got a problem that you're trying to solve, you're not going to solve it by picking somebody's brain. So we've got to step over the line and start to act like mature adults, both sides of the coin, me and the prospect. We've got to have that, that we have to have that level of confidence to be able to say, if you're going to get on a call with me, you need to be in a position to make decisions, not in a position to waste your time because that's not going to get you anywhere. So the qualification process is very important. And to do that, you must understand who you want in your ecosystem. Absolutely. Right. So talking about uh, client profiling, right? Uh, um, it can go, it can be a good business too, right? And also they can cause ethical issues. Um, can we delve into this? Sorry, we just cut out a little bit then. Can I just get you to repeat that? I just didn't hear that. All right. Now we're talking about a uh, client um, profiling. I know that it can really be a good um, business too, right? Also, they can cause ethical issues. I like us to delve into this. Yeah, I think that that's a really good question. You know, you know, if you are, if you draw into your business, you know, clients that are not um, aligned to your values and also are not willing to put the time and effort into it. This is a really big one that I learned along the way because you can get people excited and they can come into your ecosystem and say, yes, 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 I'm going to do all the work. I'm excited. I want to get into it, etc." Then they start and then they're like, you know what? I just want to get rich quick scheme. This is not for me. And so they're the clients that you've got to be very, very cautious of because what happens is that you, they want they have false expectations and then and then it becomes your problem so and, and one step further if you're in a group scenario that's the worst thing because the whole idea of creating a group um, a business based on a group scenario like a group coaching program one person can destroy the entire group energy one person that's all it takes so we as business owners we have to outsmart those type of clients from the standpoint of number one, qualifying, but number two, in that process, in that strategy call session, we have to ask the, the right questions to be able to uh, respond to that prospect with a, yes, I think that you would be amazing in my program or I don't think that we're a good fit. I don't think I can help you. So we need to discern you know, as business owners, coaches, consultants, whatever label you give yourself, 
who we want as part of that ecosystem. Otherwise, it can destroy all effort involved in building that business. I've seen this happen. And also I myself have learned from, from experience that the three or four, maybe five clients that I've um, acquired in the last seven years as a in my coaching business, the wrong clients cause hell. They actually do become the client from hell. So you have to really have the courage to say, we're not right for each other. Because when you say no to one, Believe me, there's another five yeses waiting. Right. I understand um, that um, this is a really um, tactics um, that the business uh, employ. Right. Now, um, it's also a reality for B2C businesses, right? Now, yes. so, yes. So if the current lead generation tactics, they're having to work in, especially for B2C businesses, what do you think can be wrong? And uh, what's the way forward? I think it's the same. I think it's exactly the same concept. There's, there, there's no us and them, this or that. I think it's all the same. My, my, my perspective on B2B or B2C is this. If there's two human beings having an interaction, it's the same. If it's a robot and a robot, it's different. But when two human beings are interacting, one selling and one is buying, you're, it's, a, it's a mature discussion. What we need to do as the coach or the consultant, the seller, we need to make it easy for the prospect to say yes. That's all we need to do. Right. Now, to one of your area of experts, he's talking about program development, right? Online now, program development. Now, in this present age that we have, so what are some of the potential implications to education and learning? Share your insight. I am really passionate about this space. And there's, there's, there's a couple of reasons why. You know, before my coaching business, I owned a software company and we built, um, you know, education platforms for the academic sector. So this is a, a space that I'm very familiar with and I'm, I know very well. Um, where I see a really big problem, let me start with a problem first, is that a lot of coaches, they build courses. They don't build programs. They're two different things, okay? A course is very information-based. You know, it's all about uh, pushing content and it's, it's consumption of content. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's more of an upskilling type of a mindset. I see this all the time. You know, you buy courses and then the coach is just talking. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that if you're con consuming knowledge all the time and you're not implementing as well, that becomes a bit of a problem. Because on one hand, you're consuming. And on the other hand, you're like, oh, I've just wasted 12 hours consuming. But what do I do? What do I do now? So with a program, you've got the education, of course, but then you've got the implementation. And this, for me, is, is the space that I play in. And as I mentioned before, this is where the masculine system plays a big role. So in my business, I believe you've got to have the balance. So if you're creating a program, you've got the lesson, how to do it. Then you've got the implementation uh, part of it and you've got um, tools, you've got frameworks, you've got all the supporting material that the, you know, that the client wants or, you know, the, that the client needs. And that's how, and that's a very important part of the process. Right. Thank you once again, Amiri Anderson, for an incredible insight on today's show. Really had a watch right time. Do you have any projects in the pipeline? I have a lot of projects in the pipeline. You know, it's always, I'm always busy. There's always something happening on my end. But that's the whole idea, isn't it? It's all about growth. I think that's the most important thing. You know, as long as we're growing, that's the key. That's right. Absolutely. Right. Any parting words you'd like to share with the audience? I just think that the, the, the thing that I like to share is that, you know, I truly believe that knowledge, wisdom and skills is a currency. And I think that once you recognize that your knowledge, wisdom and skills has value, you can do something with it. And that's the message I always like to leave behind. All right. Good to know. Thank you for that inspiration. I'd like to have your social media platforms and your website. Social media website, my, all my, you can get in touch with me with Mary at maryhendersoncoaching.com. All my handles on social media are all Mary Henderson Coaching. All right, right. Thank you once again, Mary, for being a guest on today's show. I can only wish you the best in all your future endeavors. 
Thank All you right. so much, Mama Bella. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you once again for joining me on the show. You can catch up with Miss Episodes on any podcast distribution platform you come across. Till I come your way, I need you to be good. Bye for now. <laughs>